All right, so we've got the whole Smart Notebook program set up. Now, the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to orient the screen. And there's two options of how to do this. If you have Smart Board tools open, you can go to Open and Orient. Let's try that method. It'll bring up the target. Then take one of the pen trays, trays from or pens from the tray, and press the center of each target. If you make a mistake or you make a problem, just press any button on the pen tray and it'll bring the cursor right back. That's important because you want to make sure that you align these accurately. Otherwise, it will throw off all of your writing. So there we are. The smart board has now been oriented. Now, another uh, great place to look for options and to look for items in your smart board, in your smart board tools, is your control panel. With your control panel, you can see all of your hardware settings, you can do your orientation, and you can adjust some of the software. You can get additional resources, you can check out the software that you have, and you can check for support. Explore your control panel. This is where you'll find a lot of options that you'll find will help you out of small jams. Now, there's another way. Notice my alignment's off a little bit here. There's another way to do alignment. Simply take two fingers and hold down the two buttons on the front of the smart board and it will bring up your alignment key. We'll again press the middle using our pen and go through the alignment process again. I would suggest aligning at the beginning of each class and maybe having a student do the alignment for you. It could be a special job of the day, just like writing some homework up on the, on the board. <clears throat> now, along with the, the items in your tray that you have, your pens, we also have two buttons. One of them is the right click button. Now, because your finger acts as the mouse as you explore the page, you can't right click an option you can't add anything. If you want to control and paste, you'd have to go up to the edit bar. Well, if you ever want to just do a right click, press the right click button once. Now, the next time you click on the screen, it will give you all of the right click options that are available to you. It'll only work one time. The next time I touch, it goes back to a left click. And another thing that you can do is use the keyboard. If I touch in a certain spot and then press the keyboard option, it will open up a keyboard for me to use right on the smart board panel. Then I can go over and type anything I want. Now, of course, you want to get really good at using this keyboard. And you have to make sure that you press each button firmly. It's a lot more difficult to type in home row up on the screen as it is on the board. So now I can manipulate things, I can move stuff around, and I can keep typing using this keyboard. So I could type another item. This is the way that you're going to add text, that you're going to add fonts to your file in the main panel. Now you can do this with the keyboard on the smart board, or if you're at home without a smart board, you can do this by clicking anywhere and simply typing on your keyboard. And again, to get rid of the keyboard, simply drag it and hit the X button, and it's vanished. So there you go. That's how to use all of the tray icons that you have. You've got your pens of many different colors. You've got your right click and you've got your keyboard.